Are you wanting to move to Mexico, but not sure if you're ready to commit to a year-long lease? In today's video, I'm chatting with my friend and fellow foreigner, Luis, about her experience renting an apartment in Mexico. She's graciously agreed to give us a tour of her apartment in Querétaro, Mexico. Plus, she's going to be sharing her top tips for finding a long-term rental on Airbnb. Let's head over to her place. For the best advice about moving to Mexico, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new episode every Thursday. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alex and I moved to Mexico from the US in 2017. I've called Querétaro home ever since. When I moved to Mexico, the very first thing on my to-do list was find a place to live, but that was easier said than done. If you want to hear the whole crazy story of how I found my apartment in Querétaro, check out this video. Back then, the rental market in Querétaro was super competitive, and with the city growing more and more each year, it's becoming even more so. In Querétaro, lots of landlords want you to sign a 12-month lease or ask that you have a fiador, a guarantor. Understandably, those stipulations scare a lot of foreigners off. And if you're worried that you won't be able to find an apartment in Querétaro, you are really going to appreciate today's video. But I will let my friend Luis give you the details. Hey Alex, come on in. If Luis looks familiar, it's because you are probably recognizing her from my Makoni vlog a few weeks back. We connected in December after she moved to Querétaro, and I am so glad we did. We've become fast friends, and thanks so much for having us over today. Of course, thanks for joining me. So Luis, why don't you just tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so I'm originally from Toronto, Canada. Um, I've been living in Querétaro for about six months now. Um, I chose Querétaro because my boyfriend is from here, Querétaro, and I work online. I do online consulting for nonprofits. To get over here today, it was about a 10-minute ride from my place in the city center. And what's what's the name of this neighborhood, and how would you describe it? So this neighborhood is called Hercules. Um, I would describe it as a really local Mexican neighborhood. That's why I really like living here. It's about 10 minutes outside of the city center. Um, driving, if, if you're biking, which I like to do often, is about 15 minutes. Um, and yeah, it's like a really local, nice neighborhood to live in. Well, your place is absolutely lovely. Thank I think you. that people are really going to enjoy this apartment tour. Should we get started? Yeah, let's get started. Next, right into the bedroom, and we added these so that we had a little bit of division. You can see the bedroom through here. This place was originally an Airbnb, yes? Mm -hmm. And what kind of, thinking back to your apartment hunting, <laughs> what was your criteria for a place? So I wanted a place that was close to the centro. I wanted maximum 10 minute drive to the, the centro of Querétaro. I also wanted a place with a patio if possible, and I wanted somewhere that came fully furnished. So I wanted to be ready to move into, I didn't want to have to buy any furniture or anything like that. So some places were furnished, but they weren't really that nicely furnished. Um, a lot of places came unfurnished too, and a lot of places just asked for a lot to move into. So they asked for like a deposit, for a lot of papers and things like that, which wasn't really what I was going for. So if you follow me, I can show you out to the kitchen. So this is the outdoor space. It's actually my favorite part of the apartment, but I'll show you it a little bit later. So this is the kitchen as you can see, it's pretty spacious, um, I love that there's a table so you can have people sitting and eating here as well as outside, um, and yeah, there's everything you really need. It came with all the appliances and everything already here when we moved in.
Thinking back to my own apartment hunting experience in Mexico, here in Querétaro, I would have given anything to have found a place that was furnished like Luisa's house. I especially love what she was saying about there being appliances. I had to buy everything. Well, we had an oven, but I did have to get my own refrigerator. So off of the outdoor space, you move in through here to the bathroom. And when we moved in here, um, we actually didn't have that much space to store our clothes. Um, so the landlords were nice enough to build this clothing rack for us, set it up right here in the bathroom so we have some extra space. outdoor space of the house. This is actually my favorite part of the house. Um, when we moved in, there was really nothing here. There was no plants, no furniture or anything, but I just saw that this area had a lot of potential, so I really wanted to kind of build it up. Um, so we added in all these plants, and I actually made this table with my boyfriend. We made it ourselves, so it was like a fun activity to do, um, and I'm really happy with it. I'm always working out here. Let's talk the details of this place. What do you pay? How do you pay? What's included in your rent? Tell us everything. So basically we pay 6,500 pesos per month. Um, that includes absolutely everything, which I love. So it includes water, um, electricity, and Wi-Fi as well. Wow, and how's the Wi-Fi here? It's really fast, so I've never really had problems. Um, I do video calls, I work online, I've never really had a problem with the Wi-Fi. We really have awesome landlords. Um, I mean, they, they let us move in month to month, so we just pay month to month. We didn't have a contract, we didn't need anyone to kind of sign for us. Um, it was really easy and it's a great process moving in. Recently, there's been a new roomie added to the mix, no? Yes, there has been. So we actually got a little puppy yesterday. Um, and we were worried at first about the landlords, how they, how they would feel about it, but they were super fine with it. They said, yeah, totally fine, you can have a dog here. So now we have a little third roommate. Don't be afraid to message people on Airbnb. A lot of landlords really are open to renting long term to tenants. It seems that's especially true for Airbnbs outside of the immediate center. Totally, absolutely. Because I think here maybe it's not as popular as in the center. So they're more open to kind of having something stable. Um, in the center it might be a little bit harder because places rent shorter term. But definitely if you're looking at a neighborhood that's a little more local. So we, have, we originally messaged them on Airbnb. Um, we said, hey, would you be open to renting longer term? We're looking for a longer term lease, but we still want to rent month to month. And they said, yeah, absolutely. Um, they passed us their WhatsApp. We started chatting on WhatsApp. And then eventually they just said they're open to it and they're willing to waive all of the Airbnb fees as well. So they just gave us a flat rate per month, all included, and it was super easy. This has been so helpful, Louise. Do you have any other tips, any other advice that could help people if they are looking for a long-term rental on Airbnb? I would suggest um, don't be afraid to come and stay for a little bit and check out the place, see if you like it. Um, because it is an Airbnb, you can just stay for like a week, a month, see if it's kind of your vibe, um, and then you can commit to a longer term. It's pretty easy down here in Mexico, so definitely come check it out in person and see if it's really what you're looking for if you can. That is so important. I don't want you to mistake this video or mistake these tips as me saying you should try to find a long-term Airbnb rental while you're still in your home country prior to coming to Mexico. It is still very, very, very important to come down here and see a place in person for yourself before making any type of long-term commitment. Thank you so much to Louise for sharing those helpful apartment hunting tips. For even more advice to help you find an apartment in Mexico, head to the description and download the completely free 25 page move to Mexico quick start guide. It has my top tips for apartment hunting in Mexico, plus a handy renting in Spanish cheat sheet with the exact phrases that you can WhatsApp to a potential landlord when you're asking about a property. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up because that really helps to support my channel. I'm Alex from backpackingbrunette.com. Thanks for watching.